Good morning, GLR family. This is Nicole with The Good Life of Huge. I'm the executive director and founder here with your weekly update. Um, this week was kind of nerve wracking, to be honest. We had four medical emergencies for our animals. Um, Petunia was not doing very well, kind of going off feet, running a fever. Um, we had a vet out, took like five calls to find a vet that would take us on um, because there is a shortage and CSU is closed for livestock emergencies right now due to their moving the facility. So um, care will be off on with CSU. We also had Juniper with some stomach issues. She was drooling a lot and seemed very nauseated. Fortunately, she's doing much better. Petunia is still not quite right, so I'm gonna see if I can get her up to CSU next week for more diagnostic because there's more going on than we could cover here with the antibiotics and the nausea medication and her pain meds. Um, we also had Moose colleague on Tuesday, which colleague has some stomach issues in horses that can go anywhere from mild to severe and can be deadly if not addressed. Luckily, his um, colleague was mild, so we were just watching him, moving him around, making sure that he was staying active and that he was um, defecating and peeing. So as of now, he's doing really well and we're happy about that. And then finally, we had Miss Estrella going back to her old raspy self. So we're not sure if she caught an upper respiratory um, infection because of the weather. This warm, cold snow is really not good for any of the animals and it has an impact on the immune system. So she got some extra antibiotics on board um, and seems to be doing much better. So yeah, this week was a little exhausting and again, the medical care, covering the medical care for livestock animal gets more and more difficult here because we have less and less veterinarians that are actually doing uh, the field work and have the right equipment. So if you have any recommendation for a great large livestock veterinarian that understands sanctuary medicine, let us know. And lastly, we are out of hay and have to stock up again so we can cover the next few months until the next hay season comes, which will be in May, June. And right now we need to purchase about 100 bales for our kiddos, which is a thousand dollar expense. A bale runs at $10 currently. So if you can donate to feed our herbivorous critters and our omnivorous critters that are on hay like the pigs um, we would definitely appreciate a donation towards their food with that thank you so much for everything and have a wonderful rest of your weekend stay warm stay safe and i'll see you next week